coming up. Hybrid vigor is very important. Um, it's, a, it's a free gift. Since I've gotten more galvan in them, I've definitely put more muscle on them. You know, when you can take a calf at 15 months and, and put it on the rail and do 95% choice prime, and pretty fun to see, I guess. Ranchers share their success stories of raising Gelby and Balancer cattle from birth to finish, next on The American Rancher. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. Today we're going to hear from ranchers located across the United States that have been raising Gelby and Balancer cattle for years. But what makes them different from the rest? These producers are there every step of the way, from birth to finish. They are constantly reminded of why they chose Gelby and Balancer genetics year after year. The group of producers raise their cattle with genetics that predict performance both in the feed yard and on the rail. Starting from the foundation, they need a bull and a cow that can produce an outstanding calf. We run Gelby Balancer cattle. Been using uh, Gelby bulls since about 11, 12 years ago. They've really made a difference in my kids, I believe, and every year I can see a difference. We've been buying Gelve bulls for six years now. I think the disposition of the, the balancer and Gelve cattle is uh, extremely good. You know, we don't have problems with the bulls that we run, uh, you know, leaving the pasture or, or being an issue when we've got to gather. We've purchased our first Gelve bull, which was a purebred bull, in 1995. At that time, we had two other breeds of bulls. In about two years, when we got to see extended growth and the performance of those purebred bulls, we were in the market to buy more purebred Gelby bulls. At that time, we were able to purchase three more bulls and we were able to phase out limousine and scimitol cattle. And we were really excited about the growth and the amount of pounds of beef that we could sell. Having the Gelby influence into my cow herd has, uh, it's been a great, great deal. We've been able to see a big difference from when I first started to where I had straight Angus cows to where now we've got balancer influence cows and the disposition on those cows is just so much better. I mean, a lot of times, you know, if I got a couple twins out in the pasture, they're usually mothering both of them or if I have one, lose one. I can take a twin almost out there in the middle of the pasture, throw it up to her and she might sniff it. And if it's hungry enough, it'll go to sucking. I've had that happen several times and it sure makes it a lot easier than having to drag them to the barn and do all that. They are great mothers. They milk well. Their disposition is so much better, more gentle than an Angus cow. And that's, I really like that balancer cross in my cows. And I kind of, what I do is I kind of go with more of a Gelvy bull and cross in my balancer cows. And that seems to be what, what I get the best return on. The fertility's really good. Um, you know, you get that extra boost of heterosis in there. Plus the Gelvy is known to be a, you know, a good fertile animal the way that it is. Uh, helps them breed up pretty darn good. Last year it seemed like they were real tight and I don't ever pull my bulls. You know, I hardly ever have any that are late. The fertility has been great as well and uh, every year it gets better on everything. The performance and the, you know, the fertility, the cows themselves and it's pretty exciting to see it. I've really tried to keep the size of my cows down. Like I said, when I first started, we had mostly Angus, and uh, my cow size was much larger than it is now. We've really shrank it down. We probably shrank it three to 400 pounds, and uh, has made a huge difference, not only on your pasture, but on your feed bill as well, and makes a heck of a lot more room in the trailer for them as well. <laughs> We started in the Galway business late 80s, 90s. We really liked the functionality of the maternal side of the cows. 
They're moderate size, they're good milkers, very high fertility, and those characteristics carry over into our carcass merit programs. Gelby has really helped our herd expand. I know when we first started, I want to say there was a bit of a mixture of all sorts of things when we were first, first married, and slowly it's just sort of evolved uh, that Gelby and balancers have just emerged and, and really increased our profitability, definitely, within our, our herd and our mothering ability. So it, it's been a good, good fit for us, the Galvi. We had an opportunity to retain heifers and put those back in the herd. And we realized at that time that the half Galvi influence heifers were just an asset to our operation. Prior to that, we had just always went to the sale barn and purchased mixed commercial cows, whatever that we felt like that looked like it would perform or milk or, and grow a calf. When we realized the potential that we had with the balancer female, we made a commitment to provide us a balancer cow herd. Does it matter what our conditions are if we have a dry year? Those cows still perform and they breed back and they calve again the next year. When we have new extra nutrition available, they are very efficient with nutrition. Those calves will bloom and grow and expand and express their genetic potential. The female side of these cattle are just phenomenal. The fertility that they have, the milking ability that they have, the balancer female is a superior female that we've been able to capitalize on the female side and to market these balancer females and created a demand for any of the extra heifers that we don't need in our operation. We have a, the ability to market all of those females to go into other commercial operations. BF Cattle Company, where breedback and mothering ability never take a back seat to EPDs, making us Festu Country's leader in Dama Merit females. Check out our latest AI sire, BF Tender 10, or join us April 6th for our Maternal Integrity Bull Sale and select from 118 month old Gelby and Balancer Bulls. BF Cattle Company, real world genetics to keep you in business. Much like keeping one's body in shape is important, cattle must also maintain good health. All of this starts with good nutrition. Sweet Pro is unique because it's a, it's a fiber a supplement to a fiber digester. There's no waste in the product. They're getting all the raw materials and, and all the raw nutrients right where they need them. For more information on all Sweet Pro Distillers grain-based rangeland and bunk-fed products with ProBioTeam, or to find a dealer near you, visit www.sweetpro.com. Back by the best guarantee in the business, Riverbend Ranch is offering over 500 head Saturday, March 9th at 11 a.m. Mountain. It's your chance to purchase from a program that is recognized in every segment of the industry, from commercial cow-calf to high-end steakhouses. Don't miss this opportunity to add Riverbend Genetics to your herd. Visit SuperiorLivestock.com for more information and get a buyer's number today. American Rancher. Crossbreeding has been utilized in the cattle industry for many years and for a good reason. Using Gelby and Balancer genetics in a crossbreeding program can increase profitability through heavier weaning weights, feed bunk efficiency, as well as heavier, faster gaining feeder cattle. And these producers have honed in on just that. We calve usually in uh, late February through March. We have a branding the second week in April. We do it the old school way. We rope and drag everything to the fire. Uh, we vaccinate them then, brand them. Then they go to grass and we wean usually about the 20th, the 22nd, 25th, somewhere right in there in September. 
and talk about performance. Uh, this year we've been really wet, um, so the grass has been washy, which you usually will kind of see maybe a little bit lighter on the weaning weights, but not so this year. I'm guessing that our steers are probably about 50 pounds bigger than last year's. Uh, they did super good, and uh, so when we wean them, we bring them home, we'll run them all through the chute, uh, give them their shots, do their implants, and then I'll background them till they're, you know, they're going to be 8, 850, which they will hit here in about a month from now, It'll be about the end of November. And then they go on to my buyer that's bought from me here the last couple of years, and uh, they seem to really like them. They do good and they grow. And I tell you, I'm pretty excited about uh, this group this year because I can see it already. They've only been weaned here for about a month, and I mean, they're getting it. They're, they're going to be a good looking set. Our heifers and cows, they, they start calving first part of February, and we'll calve through through the middle of April. Uh, then we'll, we have a big rope and drag branding. We're giving an implant then and all their vaccines, cutting the bull calves. Then we'll run them on summer grass, you know, through the middle of September, first of October. Uh, and those calves are getting creep feed from about June on. We'll bring them to the yard and uh, wean them. We're not preconditioning these calves, we just bring them in and, and wean. And we'll run them through the chute and give them another set of vaccinations. We'll background these cattle until middle of December and then they'll get put on full feed. And I'm trying to hit that April market. It's tough to do on that short of days of feed, but we're really trying to push them out as fast as we can, but not lose the performance of these cattle. You know, we want to keep these cattle in, in good shape and we don't want to push them too far that we lose the structural integrity on the cattle, but, but we'll, we'll generally feed 120 to 150 days. Uh, we'll sort sort off the top end if, the, if we think they're ready and sell them so we can hit two or three different markets. And the calves also, they, you know, we don't have poles because they're, they're running after we wean. You know, the way we wean is a pretty high stress uh, wean environment. Um, but I think the docility of these cattle is, is, is so good that, you know, we're not having the pulls on these wean kids, you know, and that really affects the performance on the top end too, when you're not losing weight because the kids are sick and, and, uh, you're not losing money having to give, give more antibiotics in, than what they already have. At Superior Livestock, we recognize the benefits value-added programs bring to the commercial producer. And as always, the American Geld Bee Association is committed to the modern beef industry and has partnered with IMI Global, the beef industry's leader in independent verification, to release Balancer Edge. Balancer Edge is a feeder calf program that gives ranchers who are raising calves sired by Gelby and Balancer bulls the opportunity to market their calves with a source and age verification. Balancer Edge is a new program offered by the American Gelby Association in conjunction with IMI Global. It's agent source verification for feeder cattle sired by Gelby and Balancer bulls. And the breed requirement is for 75% of the sires used to be registered Gelby and Balancer bulls, and the, additionally, those bulls have to be a minimum of 25% Gelby. So AGA is working in conjunction with IMI Global to offer this program. IMI Global does the agent source verification. They do the breed requirements. They verify those by the registration papers, and the program's available to all producers, regardless of size, for $3 head enrollment which covers the verification services and an EID tag. If a producer would like to purchase dangle tags for visuals for management purposes, those pairs are four and a quarter per head. So in addition to participating in age and source and having their cattle breed identified, producers have the option to participate in other value-added programs such as NHTCs, All Naturals, and, and the GAP programs. 
We're excited to be able to offer this program to producers who are utilizing Gelbian Balancer Genetics to obtain some breed recognition and to be able to add value to their cattle by creating more marketing options for potential buyers. If you're marketing feeder calves sired by Gelbian Balancer Bulls, give your cattle the Balancer Edge. Balancer Edge is the new source and age verification program from the American Gelby Association for calves sired by registered Gelby and Balancer Bulls and is backed by the industry's leading verification company, IMI Global. If you market feeder cattle, then you know that value-added programs can put more money in your pocket. Give your calves the Balancer Edge. For more information, visit gelby.org. Family owned commercially focused. Warner Beef Genetics offers the most complete set of Gelby, Balancer, and Angus cattle. We take pride in the success of our customers, and with our extensive AI and ET programs, you won't be disappointed in this year's sales. Join us in October and November for our fall bull and female sales, and the first Tuesday in March for our annual spring bull sale. For more information, contact us in the office or visit warnerbeef.com. Hilltop Farms, located in Asbury, Missouri, focuses on creating a cow herd that is developed by using only the top AI and embryo transfer matings that are known through the Gelby breed. In doing so, they give their customers a wide range of high-quality sire groups to choose from that are stout-made, easy fleshing, and will add great maternal strength. Don't miss Hilltop Farms' annual bull and female sale Saturday, March 2nd at the Joplin Regional Stockyards in Carthage, Missouri. For more information, visit them online at hilltop-farms.com. International Genetic Solutions Feeder Profit Calculator. What is it? Simply put, it's a tool to assist in determining feeder calf value of the largest genetic group within the industry, and that's the crossbred feeder calf. The Feeder Profit Calculator incorporates genetic knowledge of mainstream sires, regardless of the breed, preconditioning and vaccination information, weaning management, and responsible health programs to evaluate the value on a set of calves. The finished product is a certificate that highlights the genetic and management predictions on those calves, along with certain carcass and growth traits. Producers have three things to sell when it comes to their feeder calves, and that's genetics, health, and the management those cattle are under. The feeder profit calculator wraps all this information together, but the cost, can a rancher even afford it? Well, how about this? It costs nothing. Head to internationalgeneticsolutions.com. You can either know or guess. Choose no. International Genetic Solutions Feeder Profit Calculator. The elements can be relentless. Make sure they have respiratory protection to match. the American rancher. These cattlemen feed out their own calves because they've seen and experienced the success of balancer influence feeder calves that so many are talking about. Their post weaning gain and quality have made these producers enjoy the process from start to finish and the numbers they get back never disappoint. I got a background in yard and then I've started feed, I feed some of mine out yeah, it depends on the year, and so I've kind of really focused on the growth traits and uh, trying to keep cow size down. And I've noticed since I've gotten more gelvin in them, I've definitely put more muscle on them. That's what pays, so uh, that's what we're after. And they, I, when I started feeding them, I wanted to know how they were yielding and grading, and they did really well. I did it my first year by myself, so it was a learning curve for me too. Got along real well. They did really well. Pretty excited about that. The first year was like uh, probably about a 90, 91% choice or better. Of course, that was my learning year. They went to US Premium Beef, so we got them all gridded. 
after talking to some of the marketing guys and some of the guys that do the grading, I probably could have fed them a little bit longer. So then the next year I did that. And the next year we had probably, I think it's like 93% were choice or better. And uh, that's pretty darn good. I mean, it's, and it probably could have even been a little bit better than that. After I got the data back, I probably could have fed them another week or so and done a little bit better on them. We don't give anything up on the feed yard side. These steers that come out of these, these balancer steers, they grow. They gain weight well. They finish well. The carcass data that we have received back, we're in the 90 some percentile rating on choice. No yield grade fours and, and I have a few yield grade twos. So we are very pleased and very excited to be able to use the Gelby influence and the balancer cattle in our operation. We feed all our, all our own calves. Uh, it started as a way to market our, our corn, but now it's kind of evolved to something that we enjoy doing. You know, it's a way to track the performance of our bulls and our cows. Uh, there's no better way than doing it, taking clear to the end. And, uh, we try to shoot for a, a three-eighths of quarter, quarter balancer calf. You know, we're, we're looking for a calf crop that's really uniform. Uh, something that I can feed out and they're all ready at the same time. You know, I try to shoot for the April market. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough um, when you calve in February. You, you know, your, your calves are only, you know, 15 months old. You know, when you can take a calf at 15 months and, and put it on the rail and do 95% choice prime and, and uh, no, no yield grade fours, that's, that's pretty, pretty fun to see, I guess and the, the premiums help too. But bringing the Gelvic cattle into our operation has really improved uh, the feedlot side of things. Just from a, a calf performance uh, standard, I, I guess you could say. Yeah, the, the Gelvic cattle have really improved our, our uniformity, uh, consistency. Uh, you know, when, when, when these calves kill, we don't have a wide range of carcass weights. Um, you know, frame size and everything else is all, you know, pretty consistent. Uh, we just, we pick out the, the top end stuff and, and send it down the road when we, when we're sorting. We're a cow-calf to beef feedlot operation. So we're from birth to finish. Hybrid vigor is very important. Um, it's, a, it's a free gift and to not take advantage of it is very foolish, especially in the cattle industry. The hybrid vigor is a provided a extended growth curve for us. So we can take uh, a, a balancer steer to 1,690 pounds, um, push them to the max with a 2% shrink, a 62.3 yield will come in at a 1,049 pound carcass. He'll be 15 to 20% prime. 1% uh, select, and like I mentioned earlier, uh, minimal fours and fives. Um, can I continue that? Well, I'm going to try. I individually weigh every animal. I individually collect carcass data. We benchmark it. Uh, we database it, and then we benchmark it. And we'll look and see what our numbers are. We'll use those numbers to decide what bulls and, and breeding stock we're going to purchase. Uh, a couple things we do do, we do uh, ultrasound and replacement heifers for ribeye to live weight ratio and for quality grade. Um, we also have used DNA to do some selection on uh, better mater maternal traits and, and carcass traits. We're producing uh, 15 to 20 percent prime about one to five percent selects and you know under the threshold and fours which is usually uh, around 15 percent less fours and fives. We've been collecting carcass data in, since 2003 and following that data through. Um, we did one study a few years ago in about 2015 where we took 10 years of carcass data, stacked it all together and put it on the same grid. And in that 10 year period of time, we had increased the value of our cattle $300 a head, which to me is exceptional. We did that through two ways. 
increasing our pounds of marketable beef, plus increasing the quality. Um, and those two attributes really work good with Galvey cattle. We extend our growth curve, and which thus gives us more pounds, and we don't get the discounts of fours and fives or heavies. For more information about Gelby and Balancer cattle and the commercial programs offered by the American Gelby Association, visit gelby.org. That's all the time we have today. We hope you enjoyed the show. For more information about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick for the entire American Rancher team. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.